The door opens with a loud bang and a disgusting looking monster appears screaming on the top of its voice while battling with Doctor Strange. It's the long awaited Halloween and the children are out on the streets trick or treating, going house by house. And you guessed it right, they are of course going to a haunted house as well. They are pushing each other to knock on the door and finally, the boy dressed as a pirate has to go and knock on the door. Reluctantly, he goes and knocks on the door while the gargoyle on the porch seems to be haunted as well. The door opens with a loud bang and a disgusting looking monster appears screaming on the top of its voice while battling with Doctor Strange. The scenario is more than enough to scare the children and little pirate loses his bag full of candy on the floor while they run off to get away from the monster. Doctor Strange finds it difficult to contain the monster and just then he sees the bucket of candy left by the children and takes advantage of bubblegum. He eats and blows a huge bubble to contain the monster along with his spells and casts away the monster wrapped up in the bubblegum wrapper and the children see the whole scenario while entering back to the house to get their lost candy bucket. Doctor Strange thanks them and even goes out of his way to offer them some Halloween candy. But yet again, the children run off onto the streets since there are more monsters waiting behind the doctor. This time, the children are troubled by more monsters who land on the streets and this really scares them. But wait, it's not an evil monster this time, it's the big green monster killing machine, the Incredible Hulk. He comes and saves the little kids from the real evil monsters and even defends them. Doctor Strange joins in the fight on the streets as there are not just one, but many monsters to fight. He casts his magic spells to contain the monsters while Hulk smashes them with his bare hands. The children watch the action in awe and while battling a bug creature out of the blue, the Hulk falls asleep. The children leave after he turns into a normal sleeping man and Doctor Strange is left puzzled by this. He reaches inside Dr. Banner's sleeping mind and talks with him regarding the situation. Just then, some more monster-like people appear and the sleeping Hulk comes back to life, ready to do some smashing. Although Dr. Strange tries to warn Hulk not to get engaged, he doesn't listen and tries to smash all the four members of the new group, not knowing they are actually S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. The agents fights back as they are also driven by aggression and things almost turn ugly, but fortunately Doctor Strange intervenes and put an end to it as Hulk falls asleep yet again in the midst of the fight. Doctor Strange gets Doctor Banner awakened in his sleep and takes the opportunity to introduce the new paranormal containment unit members from the SHIELD, Warwolf, Nina Price, Vampire by Night, Man-Thing, and Jasper Sitwell, the Zombie. Doctor Strange explains that as Halloween nears, the boundaries between dimensions thinners, and especially the dream world comes closer to reality, and this is by far the most exciting Halloween superhero adventure for me personally. So much science and so much magic on Halloween. Doctor Stephen Strange goes on to explain about a recent event where he had to treat a young boy suffering from continuous nightmares. After reaching inside his dreams, Doctor Strange sees the boy battling his own monster in the nightmare and realizes this is the work of an ancient demon. And just as he suspected, there appears the Nightmare, ancient demonic entity known for its poisonous work and he engages with Doctor Strange and his magical powers. Soon after, Doctor Strange has to deal with shadow creatures created by Nightmare and it proves to be quite a lot of work since they are in Nightmare's backyard, the Dreamland. Somehow, when Doctor Strange comes back from defeating the creatures, the young boy, Benito, has already been consumed by his own monster and has fallen prey to Nightmare. After returning to the real world, Doctor Strange discovers Benito has converted into a monster and he takes him under his control and three others at Sanctum Sanctorum. And now Doctor Strange believes that Hulk is the key to all his answers, as Hulk appears to be moving between reality and dreamland from time to time as it's Halloween. Now it's time to awaken the big green monster, Incredible Hulk, while being at the dreamland, steps forward the Warwolf, he goes over Doctor Strange's command, and blasts the Doctor with an energy ray, and that's enough for the Hulk. Doctor Banner turns into Hulk and pushes away the Warwolf. But Doctor Strange appears from somewhere else, and it seems like the Doctor and the Warwolf work together to arouse the big green monster. Doctor Banner discusses a plan with the containment unit to put forward as he plans to step into Dreamland with Hulk to confront Nightmare. 
The Paranormal Containment Unit watches over the physical presence of both Doctor Strange and Banner while keeping an eye out for the four monsters trapped in Sanctum Sanctorum. Doctor Strange takes the duo into the dreamland and just like that, everything takes a wild turn from bad to worse. When Doctor Strange and Banner transport to dreamland, they are attacked by the Hulk. Now both Hulk and Banner cannot exist in the same place. Same time, right? But this is the dreamland, where almost everything imaginative is a possibility. Seems like Doctor Strange got it wrong. It's not Banner who is having a nightmare. It's the Hulk who is having the nightmare of his puny human form of Doctor Banner. Now Banner has to survive Hulk's barrage of attack while Doctor Strange finds a solution to this. The Hulk goes after Banner, destroying everything in his path, going through walls and buildings. Hulk wants to finish Banner once and for all. Doctor Strange asks Banner to control his mind on Hulk and try to work together to solve the problem. It seems an unfair request as Hulk has no intention of letting Banner see daylight again. Doctor Strange tries to contain Hulk in one of his magic shields, but it proves far less to battle the might of Hulk. And soon, from illusion of the sky, appears the nightmare and the demon further tricks to Hulk to go and chase Banner. And once again, Hulk goes after Banner, and Doctor Strange cannot follow them this time because the Nightmare had put the Doctor in a containment shield. How the tables have turned. It seems the Nightmare wants to get Hulk in his monster form so that Hulk can do his bidding forever. When Doctor Strange tries to escape, breaking the shield, he is taken away by a group of shadow creatures. Banner hides from the Hulk and thinks about the situation, as of how to find a solution, and he tries to take control of his own dreams, although it's a risky process. At the Sanctum Sanctorum, the paranormal unit members guard the two bodies. Soon, Hulk's eyes start glowing, and the human body turns into the big green machine, the Incredible Hulk. He starts attacking all the members, and now they somehow try to contain Hulk within the Sanctorum as per the instruction of Doctor Strange, but unfortunately, the Hulk breaks away into the city. Doctor Strange summons powerful daggers to destroy the shadow creatures and tries to escape his bonds. Warwolf takes after the Hulk, but the Hulk is doing his mile jumps through the city destroying everything in his path. Nina Price and Jasper follow the Hulk on a high-speed motorcycle, which makes Jasper lose both his hand and a leg, but it's Halloween. So it's good for a quick scare, right guys? Man-Thing goes into the sewage lines as well, trying to track down the Hulk. Meanwhile, on the Dreamland, Doctor Strange is trying to reason out with the Hulk, but with no success. The Nightmare appears and traps Doctor Strange in a dark spell and tells Hulk to have his fun chasing Banner. Hulk calls out for Banner while throwing a truck at the warehouse. Banner appears in an Iron Man suit, and he is controlling whatever he wants, as it's his own dream. Banny is now able to match the brute strength of the Incredible Hulk, and after a while, surprisingly, he is knocking the living daylight out of the Hulk. Soon, the real-world Hulk turns into Dr. Banner and falls from a great height. Fortunately, the Man-Thing emerges from the sewers to catch him mid-air and bring him down safely. They take him back to the Sanctum Sanctorum to lay beside Dr. Strange. Unfortunately, the Nightmare is taking Doctor Strange into his prison, where he is keeping all the other four children as well as stuck in their greatest nightmares. It seems like Doctor Strange's Nightmare is losing his patient at the theater and not being able to help since he is losing his hands as well. Doctor Strange is wise enough to see through the illusions of Nightmare, and he comes back from his own Nightmare, but still, there's no way to escape. The Paranormal Containment Unit finds out that all the other four monsters have escaped, and they cannot contact Doctor Strange. Strange, isn't it? Nightmare reveals his real plan is focusing on Hulk as he is using him open the portal for the real world. Meanwhile, in Dreamland, Iron Man Banner is fighting the Hulk, and the fight is going for hours, it seems. But Banner is trying to reason out with Hulk because it is the only solution. The containment unit is at work, trying to recapture the lost four monsters. So now it's four against four, and one by one the monsters appear at city centers. The subway station, town square, restaurants, and they are hunted down successfully by the unit. War Wolf, Nina Price, and Man-Thing takes down the monsters easily. But Jasper is finding it a bit hard to deal with the crab monster creature. Jasper uses his intelligence to overcome the situation and knocks out the monster as well. Back in Dreamland, 
Nightmare has successfully imprisoned Doctor Strange, as he cannot break through his enchanted prison and his energy is drained. The Hulk arrives at the prison as well, joining the ranks of Nightmare. The Hulk then proceeds to smash on the real-world portal to allow Nightmare to launch an attack with his monsters. The containment unit witness Hulk trying to smash open the portal into the real world from the dreamland. Nobody knows what is happening, but the Hulk does, as he delivers one final blow and yells for a strike from Banner who arrives in the Iron Man suit much to astonishment of Nightmare. He cannot believe that Hulk and Banner tricked him. Dr. Banner takes advantage of the distraction and releases himself and the four children who are stuck in the prison. Banner and Hulk take turns attacking Nightmare, while Dr. Strange guides the children to follow their way in to let them out of the dreamland. They each have to face their fears to overcome the dreamland and transfer back to the real world. Only Anya fails to go through her fear, and Benito comes to her rescue, and both of them, holding hands, go through her nightmare. But Nightmare strikes with a dark spell at Ayanya, and Benito puts himself in front of harm, saving the girl. Benito is turned into a minotaur creature permanently, unfortunately. They cross over to the real world, and Banner is ecstatic to wake up and still remember his dream. Unfortunately, they are all too late to save Benito as he has turned into a minotaur in real life as well. The children get ready to go home, but... This nightmare is not going to end soon as Nightmare appears in the real world as he has tricked them into sneaking into the real world with them. He derives power from all the children who are sleeping and grows larger by the second. Ample amount of fear power at his disposal. Nightmare now attacks the group, and they have no answers. Banner, Hulk, Containment Unit, and Doctor Strange do their best to take him down. Each and every time they end up losing the battle. It seems all these singular attacks do not even affect him anymore. The group gather. Hulk commands a team attack. Once and for all, as Doctor Strange takes time to gather his strength to work up one final spell for Nightmare. They each go according to the plan and deliver their punches. Minotaur delivers the final blow, taking down the Nightmare, allowing Doctor Strange to work his magic. He summons the true power of Agamotto, Sorcerer Supreme, and drains the Nightmare into the Abyss, all the children are saved from their nightmares, and they emerge victorious. Finally, they can celebrate. But Minotaur is not in the mood as he is still processing his destiny. The group tries to console him. At last, the Hulk shares his experience with him, and together the paranormal containment unit forms a better, powerful team, as they need to defend the world against the nightmares of the dreamland every year on each and every Halloween night. Thank you for watching Millennium Pictures. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos. Have a nice day.